Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, I am Romek, the creator of the Snap Mania, the god of Marvel Snap, as you have seen by my win rates on everything, and well, I can say one thing again, Hope Summers is absolutely busted, but apparently Pixie is as well, as she is seeing a lot of playing the top cuts of decks, and currently in the game, this is one of the best performing decks, do I call this tier 1? Yeah, I'll call it tier 1, and we have won a ton of cubes on it, see on the screen right now, let's go into deck edit immediately so I can tell you why we play all the cards. We play Sunspot because he's the best one cost in High Evo, you play Nabil because she's the one best one cost in general, Misty Knight is absolutely amazing card, steals wins, steals priority, absolutely incredible card. Pixie to shuffle the costs of the cards in your deck, which makes sometimes a one cost a life, as you can see. And you will see in the games, She-Hulk will come some of them as a two cost, and just the Hulk becoming a one cost is absolutely ridiculous. Professor X to lock out the game, this is absolutely an incredible card right now, I hate it, but I think it's like, whenever we can manage it, Professor X is always an option. Jeff, so you can enter the Professor X lane and just make Hope Summers interactable. Cyclops to lower the power of opponent's cards, and High Evo to enable all of your cards. Now boys, let's get snapping. Make sure to give the video a quick like, comment, and subscribe to these kinds of things every day. Diverse content and everything, Reddit reviews, whatever. Let's get snapping. Okay, boys, let's play some High Evo Lockdown. Uh, the videos will be shorter starting now because I really don't think talking for and yapping for 40 minutes is anyone's point of interest, and nobody even watches that long anyway. So we're just gonna make it like play the uh, top five games and we'll see what happens. I don't know, I'm not having a lot of fun with Snap. I won't lie right now, the game is in a terrible state like always it's all rng based as usual like you might see yeah pixie's very fun but she's very rng based and like the only deck i actually enjoy is playing uh, phoenix force because phoenix force actually requires a skill to pilot and it requires a lot of i don't know re realization of gameplay patterns that i i think second dinner hates so that's my idea, and that, and this is my channel, so I get to say whatever I want. There is no second dinner above me to yell at me and say I'm cringe. No, no, I'm based. I'm based here on this channel, and that is all I can say. Up against some Annihilus bounce deck. We'll see what they got cooking. We'll play Hope Summers here, mid, and if we draw Professor X against their deck, they're kind of dead. Can we draw one cost? A one cost would be insane. No one cost. Okay, then. We play Hope Summers into Noir Dimension. Our Hulk should always win Cherie's Lab. They don't have Zabu, which is quite good. They have to play in the Nebula lane, so we don't get any power from it. This isn't looking that bad. Noir Dimension is also a really good one. Colobsidian. Okay, then. Hmm. Whoa, what the hell is happening? It's like we did the... Like it was drawn. <laughs> I don't understand. I imagine that sound happening. <laughs> like you're drawing from a straw. And I and this game is gonna be my last straw if we lose. We're gonna have a uh, more billion gazillion energy here. Do I expect Sentry to show up? The Jin and Sentry, I guess. Gladiator. We lose the alive. That's fine. I'll live with it. I don't really need a life to win. But we really need something to win. They're just destroying us in tempo. They got everything. And we don't have anything that good to actually play out. Like, I know this looks terrifying for most people. Like, you have 9 energy right now and you can just play... ...a Hulk something, but it, it's not that good. We require a lot more to do much. I can't even Professor X scam properly. Like, you know, I can try. He's not gonna probably play mid, because he doesn't want Cyclops getting more value. I think this is the best line. If he doesn't snap, we're in a great position. I expect a Nihilist to drop with something. I just hope it's not mid. Okay, he played it mid. Alive mid. I guess he does play the Alive. Well, that means we don't have to fear it next turn, but... Jesus, another Alive. Like, we all have to play the Alive because Second Dinner refuses to balance this stupid card. So we're just all kind of begrudgingly playing it. The funnily enough, we can still play She-Hulk Hulk. That is hilarious. 
Hmm, he has five cards in hand. He played the demon. Like, Hulk just wins there. He, we don't need anything else. Do we just say you can't win? You can't win them all? And just leave Noir Dimension? We put 16 there. Is playing for all three better than playing for two? That's the question here. We always win Cherie's Lab, I think. Like, we should always win Cherie's Lab. Okay. I think this is the better line. Sentry. Okay. Winnable. Shang-Chi. Jin. We win. Easy. Easy does it. We did it, boys. We somehow did it. Not playing mid was the right decision. I was like... Throw it. Like, it doesn't matter. He can't sentry right. If he's playing on an Isla's deck, he can't sentry right. And he already played Cullop Zidding, which was, I was actually afraid of. We managed to win it. We got our plus six. So now let's keep going. You know what? This was a good game to showcase the power of this deck. Alive on five, you sneaky devil. You sneaky Pete. You think you're smart enough to beat us? Nobody is smart enough to beat us. Not even ourselves. Even though we didn't get Pixie. And I, I know all of you want a new Pixie deck. Yada, yada, yada. And there we go. We got Pixie. Do you like it, guys? Do you like that the entire point of Pixie is, wow, energy cheating. Which means when we energy cheat, you actually just get to play Professor X for one energy. Great. Absolutely fantastic. I think all of you love hearing that. Up against Massimo Greco. Oh my god. The painter? Someone got that reference. If someone got that reference, put it in the comments right now. I want to hear anyone just say, like, what was that? What was the reference? Uh, what, the painter? Like, come on, someone played that video game. And if you played that video game, you were a Chad. Uh, we have Pixie on the curve. Too bad we drew all of our good shit. Now we just die. Oh! <laughs> you yeah, you did snap! <laughs> you did snap! You didn't snap! You didn't snap on this shit? Like, oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> Bruh! I love that. Nebula, thank you. Thank you, Nebula. You're not that bad. I give you a lot of shit, but you're not that bad sometimes. Do we stay here? Hmm. It all depends if we top deck alive or some shit. We always play the Hulk. Okay. Two hulks for the price of one. I thought they hit the same the laser hit the same card at that point. The best play to do here is just play Prof X right and hope for the best. Because no top deck really does anything. Yeah, they just don't do anything. At best, they protect the Hulk if we get a life, but otherwise we die. And we know what they're playing. They're playing the same shit as we are. Yeah, we don't have Shang. This is the best bet. Holy shit. There's Shulk. Oh! It hit mid! Just so we couldn't alive. That is that that is poetic at that point. What do you guys think? Did they draw everything? They need to have some other payoff here. There's no way. They don't play anything else. I checked the list. Hi Evo. We won. Barely. But we did, in fact, win. Betting on Professor X was the only thing we could have done. What a fantastic win for us. Oh, shit, that was too close. Like, no Eliath was actually the right decision there. Like, Eliathing there would have... No, actually, one lost too much. There we go, we gained plus four more cubes. We're, we're ranking up, we can get to rank one with this, probably. In, it's important to know how to play the mirror, and that is, like, I know his entire deck list before. Like, why? Why do you know his entire deck? I don't make... Everyone's playing the same thing. Like, that's the problem with Marvel Snap. We always approach w the moment where everyone just says, This is the new most broken thing, yada yada yada. And I think this is like... I think this will... I would call this a tier 1 deck. Like, this is absolutely tier 1. It does everything besides play Shang-Chi. 
it just cheats off. Poggy Bonsi is uh, the X number one player on the planet, and I'm very afraid to see. We have an insane hand, though. Uh, Sakar is definitely a card. Uh, oh, location, whatever. I'll play there and hope to get Pixie. We got the... Well, at least we don't have to play him now. <gasps> Ooh, this is very interesting. Yeah, we got him. We got a snap. I know, I know, I have to snap it. Because now he needs to draw Shuri Nimrod or he dies and we can draw Professor X, we have a life. Like, come on, if I don't snap it here, I'm quite literally trolling. I guess you can say, nah, people don't say in the comments I beat Poggy Bonsi if I, he, I made a retreat for one cube, that's not the same thing. Like, when I beat him for four yesterday with Shuri Nimrod, that is the play. Like, that's when you can say you've beaten someone, but someone retreating isn't called, like, winning. I don't think, it's like they realize they're, they've lost, so they left. Like, unless you beat him, like, if, unless you made him retreat for four cubes, I guess. Like, th there is a very different thing, like, oh my god, I just beat this guy! And you're like, oh my, you, you snapped on one because you got uh, from X Mansion the Infinite, and he got Yellow Jacket that hit two of his cards. Like, woo, yeah, baby, that's what I've been waiting for, that's what I've been, woo, I think I should snap here. I have to. There's Asgard, we have Cyclops, we have Jeff, we have Prof X, we gotta just... Push our advantages. Whenever we get a good hand, we're supposed to snap, even though Pixie may absolutely blow us out. Like, that's the thing. No matter what, we gotta push. Mantis. A Loki deck. It's like a steel deck, I guess. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Christ. This is a hand. A Medusa. A lockdown deck. Mm. So they are a lockdown deck, like us, but we're based, I guess. I can Prof X lock out uh, Avengers Compound, but that doesn't do anything for me. Yeah, it doesn't really do much. This pressures them all the time, though. White Queen. He gets Prof X. It's fine. He can keep it. Now, if we draw the Hulk alive or anything, and they're actually good costed... Yeah, that, that is scary. That, that is a picture you can show at home. <laughs> mm. so it's kind of... A scuffed battle here, to say the least. I like Professor X. I like Cyclops hitting their left a bit. I can also just play Hulk now. Like Hulk Mania right now. But I like Professor. I like Cyclops just hitting their shit. Like, it's too good. This gives us priority almost every single time. The last cards in the deck. Like, we need priority here. The problem is I can't point to Hope Summers, though. That's also bad. Okay. I think I got the line. This only gets punished by one specific card. Okay. Let's see. That's not that card. Okay. You're not him. Cosmo. Perfectly fine. Hmm. Amazing sunspot. But we gotta think now. I wanna see how he wins against this. I think this is hands down unbeatable. Hmm. Yeah, we won. We drew a one cost Eliath. This is Eliath from 2027. Like, this is gonna be the thing in the future. This should be the thumbnail. One cost of life. Like, that, that... Oh, my God. The problem is the game is too fun. It's too fun, boys. It's too fun. Let's play one more.
Man, I'm getting I'm getting tired of alive sacking people. It's so busted. Like mana cheating in I think in this game more than any other, like someone is gonna mention Magic the Gathering and like I saw a lot of mana logs this video is like where he plays like the old old magic like he doesn't play, but he makes top tens. We're gonna make top tens on this channel, by the way. I wanna talk a smack about a lot of uh, stuff in Marvel Snap, like history wise. Like I wanna completely differentiate myself from content. Like we're gonna do every other day, it's gonna be something else like we're gonna do the regular videos every single day but every other day we're gonna do something different like top 10 or this or me just reading reddit like i loved reading reddit that was fuck you there's one from the boy make sure to remember it he's gonna snap on it like you just know yeah hey hey nebula just don't tell me he opened hope summers Jesus. I gotta play Cyclops. Because if he wants to play in Mirror Dimension, we gotta stop it. Oh, he fucking drew her! Of course he did. Of course he drew her. Okay. So, we play Pixie and Black Vortex, hope for the best. Get it? Hope for the best, because he played Hope Summers? Haha. Uh -huh. Very funny. Uh, he needs a way to play into Death's Domain, like armor. Uh, Jeff doesn't give him quite access to it since we have Nebula. Pixie is fine enough because we have Aliyah in the back end. Vision could be a problem, but as long as we top deck something decent or we get a big costed card from Black Vortex and he doesn't, we can win. We can get Jeff next turn, which lets us win. Let's see what he gets from Black Vortex. That's a Arnim Zola. That couldn't li literally could not be worse. Now, can we get something good? Pixie, Pixie, give me something decent off the top and give me a good card here. Orca Whale, good job, Gorka Whale. What do we get? Jesus. Yeah, that that's a good one. You know what's even scarier? You never predict this. Like, there's no way. And, oh my god, order, Romic. Oh my god, you're gonna type it now in the comments and I see you right there. I, I am looking at you right now. I see you. He has to play Vision now. To even give himself a monarch, a ghost of a chance. Now we play Hope Summers. He's hoping for summer, but summer has arrived. Mobius, Shang. Do as you please. No, hey, Jeff. Hey, Jeff. That's all I can say. Hey, Jeff. Like, just... <laughs> Hi, buddy. How you doing? Okay, we can go back to Decadent now. Jesus! Jesus! This deck! <laughs> okay, so as you have realized, this deck is absolutely busted. Look at it. Like, just... It's high Evo, but it actually is good. It doesn't play Magic, which is a terrible card. And we play stuff like Misty Knight and just Sunspot. You don't even need a lot of expensive cards. You're only running one and two Series 5 cards, one of them, which is... Both of them are like... All of these cards are good. Like, you want Pixie, you want Mobius. Like, the meta has settled, and it's such a good deck. It's such a good deck. It's really fun to play. It's it's kind of stupid because you're like, Oh my god, I get to manage it all the time. But you know what, boys? Sometimes you gotta do that. And I think all of you will quite have enjoyed this video if you got here. But hey, I was Romic. Make sure to give the video a quick like, comment, and subscribe so you can see more of the content. So you can see a little more diverse content in the Marvel Snap sphere as I'm going to do a lot of different stuff. And well, I'll see you in the Snap Mania, boys. Take care of yourselves. Love you all.